Well, except for the belt cover, because I'm waiting for a belt that's a half inch off in size. If I start wiping it when you guys are watching nothing else, but just let me give this a little wipe down, you guys. And I got one bolt left over, and I know why. So let's just try and start this bad boy now. Fuel! Okay. Check for oil. Might have lost it. Nope, it's good. Spark, ding, turn on. Choke. On off. Two or three pumps. This should do it. This should just go bang. Alright, I was just checking to see if it had good acceleration, and it does. Hang on one sec. Okay, now, like me, I cleaned the law, I cleaned the snow blower before I'm attaching this. Now, I got this from Jim. It's not an official footer on or screw or hooser, but I'm going to try. First thing we're going to do, as I loosened this already while I was running, gonna work. Good. We can let that dribble a little bit. Yeah. Now is it dripping over my tire? Not much. Well it did leak a little bit. Okay, yeah, so let's be right back you guys. I'm gonna clean this up and we'll be right back. Okay this is gonna be coming off fairly soon but I'm going to go give this a test try in my yard. My snow is really uh, hard and I guess you might call it old. Um, I don't know. I'm going to get this in here again. Maybe like that, eh? Just no easy way for this kind of stuff, is there? Okay, two seven sixteenths by quarter. Oh, this one's a three eighths. -er. Yeah. Somebody changed these 3 8 bolts while I wasn't looking. At least I can laugh, right? Okay, so it's got to be tucked up. Good. I'm going to go try this out. Lord, grant me patience. guys let's just uh, get it in the light and do a little walk around I'm pretty dang proud of this guys you know to get her straight I mean you might as well do this right eh so John Deere TRS 24 5 horsepower Tecumseh Snow King we looked at the serial number a long time ago uh, 67 is the first two letters in the or numbers in the serial number so I'm thinking 97 and I think in the 90s yard equipment was the best when the boomers started to get their money, right? So do you like it? I do. I want to go see how it works and I'll bring you out. Okay, this is going to take a minute or two. Let's see how she works.
everything's really good, but the traction wheel is slipping just a tiny bit. You got some of that. So I cut these walkways in my yard, right? So I can get around up to there and there and there and there and there. Thanks guys for watching. So that was a fantastic first try. I hope you guys caught a little bit. Now we're going to open it up and see if we can tighten the drive wheel. So the snowblower did fantastic. The auger part worked better than I thought it was going to. And the traction, I bet because of the uh, chains, it's never had traction like this before. So I'm going to tilt it on in. It's called the clean and jerk, right? I never used to watch weightlifting when you were 12 years old. Never did much. Anyway, I gotta do this. And we gotta get these. We gotta get these nuts off of here to get the pad off. And all we gotta do is tighten up the pressure on the pad. Now I could probably do it. But just, uh, let me think about this. Okay, I can probably just tighten this up. But I want to see. I want to see how it can burst it up now. inch wrenches. So what I'm going to show you now is there's just a tiny bit of slippage on this wheel here against this friction plate. But we've got chains now and we never had those before on this machine. Nothing else is warm. I did smell a tiny bit of rubber which is probably that. 
So let's just tighten it up a little bit. And I'm starting to use these uh, ratchet wrenches more and more and more. So what I got to do is tighten up on this cable right there. There's two ways to do it. No, nope, there's one way to do it. That's to get it out. So we want to take this up, I would say, enough. <laughs> now, once again, our little blue point guys come in handy, right? So I tightened up the other one for the auger, and it was good. Now I'm going to use this little goober. goober. Now, nah, that's an old word. Gotta find a new fun word. So to tighten this up, I think we have to go this way. And I need a 7 16 One, two, three, four. I think that'll help. Four turns on that. Did that even tighten anything up? I think it did. Let's go a little more. Let's go three more. Seven turns on that bad boy, eh? Pretty dang good, guys. Maybe too much, but we'll find out. Oh, that's almost too much, eh? It's bending out, see that? There we go. That's enough. Okay. So before, when I was when it was running, I could just make it slip, eh? Now we gotta bring it down. Good. And I think I'm gonna use the electric to start on this one. Did I spill any oil? Last time I did this, it did spill oil. No, it didn't. Alright. So if I pull on the traction lever, it should spin the back tires and not stop turning. Are you with me? on a machine I never keep much gas in it because you never know when you're going to have to take take the tank off. Eh? Okay let's try that again. This time I'll pull it. And if we can spin the tires. <laughs> so close eh?
so I'm ready for the next round. Although it's pretty much done. You guys saw it, I hope. Okay, guys. Ooh, just one sec. So I'm happy with the placement of the pulley down there, the black one, right there. So I Loctited it in on the grub screws right there. You can see one of them. And I used Loctite, red Loctite. Now this idler pulley is a little bit off, but the, the actual pulley lines up dead center with the drive pulley down to the black pulley down there. So uh, I noticed that the wear is on this side of the of the idler, same as it is now. So that's okay. So now I'm just waiting for the belt replacement. And uh, I think I'm gonna be done this guy. Right, so this is the whole thing I used. I taped this little uh, Allen, Allen uh, nut driver onto the, all of these so it wouldn't pull out and fall into the bottom of the, of the uh, snowblower drive. All right. I got instructions to not hurt myself. And I'm going to manually back this up onto the pender lip. I got one more thing I got to do to it. And here we go. I could start it up and back it up and then smash into that snow lower line. But it's not that bad if you have the presence of mind to go a little bit at a time. There we go. That was pretty respectable. Good. All right. I can still do it. Yay! So come over this way. And we have one thing I want to do on this snowblower before it's finished. I just forget how heavy these darn things are. Oh yeah, and I got smart and put the brakes on here. So this 28 inch belt that was in there was too small. And the 29 one that's in there, I got it working, but it took every little bit of adjustment I had. So I got a 28 and a half. I haven't even opened this yet. Let's see how it looks. Okay. So this is the new one. This is the old new one. And that's how much longer it is. I'll just squish it down there. Hard to believe that that makes that much difference, eh? So let's get the old one out without, uh, without causing any havoc. It's really weird, right? My nose runs and my feet smell. Good. Now we're going to take these bolts out that separate the machine. I know, it's scary, right? the auger drive belt that's the one we're changing out and those are the keepers that hold it in place and I believe those are half inch as well I'm careful I shouldn't have to muck things up too much if you don't do this carefully it ends up a Turning into a feces show. Now you can just be able to pop that belt off of there and 
You have to play with the brake a little bit to get it past the brake. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. This is our belt that is a, just a tad too big. So we'll just have a look down. And you're with us. This, this is important. Good. So, this is the one that's too small. This is the one that just came off the machine. You can see it's quite a bit taller, eh? And this is the one. Hopefully, this is the Goldilocks one, eh? Look at that. But if I push it in, it will be. See that? One, two, and three. Did you guys get a good look at that? So this is our guy. So it happens at the same time. So we're on the other side. I'm just going to stick some bolts in there. on the keeper. Good. Movement. Let's tighten up that hider. Well, by gorsh, I think we got it. So now the only problem, and it's, can you imagine lining this up at the same time? But I got a nuts and bolts. Oh yeah. Now this won't pull out. Yeah, that seems to work. Alright, I haven't got the cover on. We're going to get ready to plug it in and start it with the electric starter. I had to push this keeper quite a ways to keep it from inter intersecting with this. Although all it was doing was sparking a tiny bit. 
We do have some slack in the belt, believe it or not. See that? That's all you need. So let's just give it a go. You guys can stay on this side. It's a little more interesting watching from this side, right? the keepers just kind of wearing into their new spots on the belt because the belts do wear uh, or the keepers do wear the belts flat eh? like even right across the top there so we're gonna, we're gonna leave it whoops we're gonna leave it like that and carry on thank you very much I think I'm done this job <laughs>